public finance. So what do you mean by public finance? First is concept of public finance. Concept of public finance. So generally thing is public finance means it is the income and expenditure of government authorities. Okay, generally we are seeing it is tells about that of income and expenditure of the particular state government and the central government local authorities bodies. So according to this professor Colton they are giving that it is Dalton is considered it is the, the income and expenditure the expenditure and the public authorized to one place to the another means he is also saying that one they can main playing the two elements or namely income and uh, expenditure so every government at the state government and the central government and local body authority government they want to revenues or incomes they are collecting that one income either revenues from the public at the same time the central government and the state governments they are doing the regular activities daily purpose if you want any things any social infrastructures they expand the roads transport and the railways and the insurance and the government policies purpose we want to necessary finance necessary money necessary fund so that words I am saying that one the government they are collecting the money from the public they are spending the government to the public purpose like a social aspects purpose social infrastructure purpose hospitality purpose education purpose they are spending the money but thing is here in necessary of main thing is money sometimes state and central governments also they are facing the finance so what will they do they are taking necessary borrowings from the others so it's the spend of the money in the economic activity also but the government they needed certain money and the employment and the general prices nowadays we want to buy this goods and commodities we are paying the money we are paying the taxes in the directly or indirectly so the government get the taxes from the public so whatever it is they are collecting the taxes and the local taxes state central taxes if central government they are collecting the taxes they are giving to the central government they, whatever it is they are collecting the taxes the particular taxes share gives to the state governments okay so components of the public finance what sir components of the public finance next topic is components Public revenues. What sir? Public revenues. So what do you mean by public revenue? It is a previous paragraph, the modern. The government we needed this revenue to perform the function is effectively the important receiving from the people. 
how to get the state and the central government they get the revenue public revenue i am already told that one so any government they are doing this certain activities they want to revenue revenue nothing but income we can consider money we can consider okay which purpose we are needing the money regular activities see revenue received by the government from the different sources is called as public revenue the government they can collecting received the money income in different ways from the public that is the public revenue broadly classified into two types tax revenue and uh, non tax revenues what sir how many divisions are there tax revenue non tax revenues two categories are there from the public revenues tax revenues non tax what do you mean by tax revenues so we how that one tax revenues we can broadly divided two types of taxes are there namely direct tax first is direct tax second is indirect tax tax so what do you mean by direct taxes what do you mean by indirect taxes the taxes imposed individual and uh, of companies the and the income they should pay the tax to the state government and the central government suppose i am saying individual personal income say i am the x person i am getting per annum 4 lakhs rupees or 5 lakhs rupees so on the income 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs we should pay the tax to the directly to state government or central government suppose x person earned 10 lakhs rupees how much 10 lakhs okay he earned na it is a single person na it is a individual person na how much is getting this and 10 lakhs a x person they are going to pay the directly tax a particular person they don't take the help of mediator they don't depends upon the secondary person they don't send the tax to the second person means what i is a person earning the income a particular person should be pay the tax to government i am the x person i earn the 10 lakhs rupees from the 10 lakhs rupees whatever it get how the slab rates according to slab rates i pay the tax of my in income earning the income that is called direct tax so direct tax is examples are there wealth tax <coughs> wealth tax estate tax okay income tax income tax next is indirect tax which is not call a direct tax call indirect tax so indirect tax third person being playing the role in indirect tax so example i am saying a a is the manufacturer a is the manufacturer a is producing t-shirt t-shirts per t-shirt cost is 300 rupees what sir 300 so here to observe here for example a bought a 300 t-shirt okay 
so who pay the taxes 300 from the 300 including all the taxes the cost is 300 na who pay the taxes indirectly b pay the taxes indirectly because a manufacturer pay the tax directly who is the face the or paying the tax b is the paying the tax that is called the indirect tax example i am saying sales tax customs duties custom duties excise duties this is the tax revenues go for the next one is non tax revenues what's a non tax revenues see here to go in non tax revenues first is administrative administration revenues so what do you mean by administration revenue the government receive the money for a certain administration like a registration like a license like etc etc and a certain work they are providing the government they can collecting the some income or revenue that is called administration revenue next is commercial revenue second is commercial revenue so it is a modern time modern economics activities being playing the role in commercial revenues so in manufacturing systems it is the offer to certain services to goods and services to exchange our prices such as units are the revenue by the selling of the production selling of goods and the place and the prices and the such as the employees of the public the sector of the indian oil to corporation example i am saying that one so many different things the government they are collecting the tax or revenue that is called commercial revenue next is loans and advances loans and uh, advances if government they don't have the revenue so what will we do they go for the borrowing we have the different different things are there if you want government need some funds some finance they are going to take the loan from the particular banks we have the different kinds of banks are there commercial banks and uh, national banks any banks they right to provide the loans if its banks not available in the certain time already they are taking the loan from this banks particular governments they are depends upon the financial institutions what sir banks borrowings or next is financial institutions what sir financial institutions they are going to lending the money as a particular government